Here we go. Um, so what we're doing today is we're going to be making a magazine carrier That's for a, uh, a single mag carrier for a double stack magazine. And what you can see here is that we've, we've already uh, cut these two pieces of Kydex. Um, one is going to be slightly larger than the other because the outer face is going to do most of the deformation. And what can happen when you do something like this is that, can, especially considering the height of this item, uh, is that the edges can become a little irregular as you press it out. So what I'm doing is I'm leaving our, myself a little bit of leeway here to trim it down and trim off any irregularity as well as give this the clearance it's going to need to take the shape of this item. Um, this video is also going to include a couple things about um, cutting and riveting uh, and techniques for that. But uh, while we're here, we're just going to get started on the, uh, the magazine carrier. I have my friend Roger over here came by to learn how to do this and I figured we'd shoot a little video so he's helping me out a lot today so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna tape down the magazine so it doesn't move around while we press it right so I'm just gonna put this guy in place nice and secure okay. When we make this magazine carrier, the outer face is going to do most of the work. We're going to do our best to keep the inner face relatively flat. Um, but uh, you'll see how this goes as, as we go along here. We just want this to be secure in the press. So we have this guy. Now let's, let's give it two more pieces here. It's better to be safe than to have this move around on us and be miserable about it. So here we go. I'm going to grab this Kydex, and I'm going to grab the heat gun, and then we're going to go downstairs to the toaster oven and the press. So when we get back, we'll, the uh, Kydex will be coming out of the press, and we'll be, um, it'll be coming out of the toaster oven, and we'll be ready to press. All right, so we're getting ready for the uh, Kydex to come out. It's just going to be another couple seconds. Um, there's like this really critical point at which it's hot enough that it's going to come out really well, but not so hot that it starts to shrink it thing. So like, if you come in here and look, and see like where we're at right here. I think we're just about perfect. So it's got like a little bit of flop to it. So you gotta come over here and work relatively quickly. So this is gonna come out. We're gonna put this face down in the press, put the positive mold on top of it, put the other half of the press down on top of it. Hang on for dear life here. Now throw this clamp on. Just like that. Nice and tight. Bring the other side over here. Nice and tight. Flip it over. So you can see like what kind of pressure we're getting here. So this is going to be nice and tight, which is going to give us a lot of good definition. And uh, yeah, you can hear the press creaking a little bit. I'm kind of uh, I kind of go overboard a little bit because it's always easier to relieve it than it is to get it more defined later. So you want to start off with as much definition as you can, even if it's like too much. So um, in a couple minutes we'll come back and we'll show you how this looks once we get out of the press and then we'll heat the other side. Okay, so here we go. It's been in the press for about uh, 10 minutes or so, so we're going to take it out. We WD-40 the, uh, the clamps so they're not squeaky anymore. So 
So, here we go. Here's phase one. And as I predicted, you can see um, how taking this form causes the edges to deform a little bit, but that's something that we can deal with later on in the process. Now we've got good definition here. Um, this is not something I'm going to monk monkey with later. I'm just going to uh, make the necessary trimming and, and adjustments to uh, proceed with this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the heat gun and heat the back of this because I don't want to put the whole magazine in the microwave or the uh, toaster oven rather. And I also don't want to get this too too inconsistent and too overheated and sloppy. So we're going to go over here with the heat gun. As soon as this is done, we're going to have to hustle on over to the press because, you know, obviously you get a lot of working time once it's nice and hot. Put this in place so we know they match up later. Tight. These don't have to be like, you don't have to, you know, bust a vein tightening these down, but they should be relatively firm, you know. Um, so in a couple minutes, we'll uh, come back and see how this turned out, and then we'll move on to the next step here. Okay, so this is phase two here when the, the uh, press is coming apart. And we'll see how the uh, back face of the holster, the, the, the uh, mag carrier, has uh, turned out here. Now what you'll notice is every time I take these clamps off, I put them back at their maximum height. So I don't forget to do that and I'm in a situation where, oh my god, the kydex is hot and now I need to monkey with the clamps. Just part of the, the process, just a little small piece of advice is that whenever you take the clamp off, reset it all the way open, all the way open, because otherwise you'll be monkeying with it in a time critical situation. So here we go. Just put a nice little bit of definition in the back there. And the next step is what we're going to do is we're going to get a belt loop like that we already have made and determine the location of the rivets and the dimensions of this final piece. What I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to make it wide enough that you can put a nice little uh, curve in it, but not so wide that it takes up a lot of real estate on your belt. So when we get back, we'll have a belt loop ready and we'll be uh, uh, doing the rest of the rivet layout here.